Hi Taurus, welcome to your love connection reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again. If you are new, I ask that you do please go check out the description box. There's lots of information down there for you. There's links, personal reading, information, everything you need to know is down there, decks I'm using and so forth. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for all your support and generosity. It really, really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so for Taurus, love connection reading, first half of August, this can be any type of connection with anyone that you have in mind. So please uh, keep that in mind. So I hope everybody's doing well. Second half of August, summer's almost over. One more month, then we'll be going into fall. Then it'll be Christmas. Oh my God, oh, then we'll be going into 2020. Holy crapola, okay. Taurus. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we may get a planet energy or an element or a sign and with whatever comes out here if it doesn't resonate for you that is totally fine this is sort of like a little extra bonus and the rest of the reading may be for you if you clicked on the title then something in that title resonated for you so there may be a message in here if it's not the whole reading it could be just one specific message in here you need to hear so let's see what we get for Taurus second half of August love connection reading spirit please what kind of energy could be around some Taurus, Tauruses? I don't know. Is that <laughs> Taurians? I, I don't know. What is the plural of Taurus? Taurus? Virgo. Two earth signs. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. And if it's not their sun sign, it could be their moon sign. Um, they could just have it heavily in their chart. Or maybe you have Virgo in your chart. But this is... Uh, some energy around you so a Virgo in some way shape or form if not that's totally fine that could be just a message for some all right I don't know I'm just curious I never look at the bottom of the deck oh earth energy so oh my god so there we have earth and you are both earth signs so that could be confirmation there that some of you are dealing with a Virgo or have a Virgo in mind all right so let's see let's get an overall love connection energy card to see what the love energy is like for you Taurus second half of August what is the love connection energy like for Taurus second half of August spirit please and we have one card for Taurus what is their love connection energy like second half of August Father healing, your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. So this could be, um, you know, your biological father in some way, or it could be your spouse who is the father of your children. So it could be any kind of situation here where a uh, father influence here, something either from your childhood needs healing with a fatherly figure so that you can heal that and move on and have better peace, harmony, and balance in your current relationship, or um, there's something with the father of your children that needs healing in some way. So we'll see. All right, so let's get, we'll get one card for you, one card for your person, one card for you. Have faith, your prayers are manifesting, remain positive, and follow your guidance. So if it's also, if it's not you, Who's dealing with father issues it could be your person um, their father that needs something he that needs some kind of healing with their father so that they can heal with from within and move forward in their relationships maybe not just with you but their relationships overall and you're having faith in them in this situation all right so Oh, it's way too many. So one card for Taurus person. 
How are they feeling about Taurus? How are they feeling about this connection? One card. Thank you. Okay, so we have friendship. Make a date for a play day with one or more friends. So maybe right now uh, they just view you as a friend. Um, but you're having faith that this will move further. Okay, so we'll get more more information here with the tarot. Um, you know, maybe something with their father if they've been abandoned by their father or, or they just had a bad relationship growing up with their father really affected um, how they view relationships in general and it just may not be in love. It could be any and all relationships that they have really affects them and maybe, you know, right now they're not looking for anything for some reason. They just kind of maybe have you in a friend zone but you're having faith having that hope faith and optimism for more so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck okay so we have and i just said having that faith hope and optimism and here we have stay optimistic so this i feel um is spirit saying stay optimistic your dreams are coming true don't quit right before the miracle occurs so you know, maybe maybe they are also, you know, if not with you, uh, if they were in a previous relationship and they have children and they are a father, maybe they're healing over those issues also. But right now they can only be friends with you and you have faith and optimism for the future of this connection. All right, so let's see, Taurus. Taurus, let's clarify now. Are you Taurus? We'll get some tarot on this. See what's going on. Second half of August. This love connection reading spirit, please. Taurus. Love connection. Second half of August. All the decks are listed below also, and they all have been pre-shuffled, meditated on, and cut um, before I came on camera. But I do a little more shuffling on camera. All right. So can we have a card here for Taurus to clarify? Oh, it's three. That's way too many. Can we clarify? There we go. The Magician. Okay, so the Magician is, I believe, uh, oh, now I'm having a brain fog. Gemini and Virgo. So this definitely could be uh, the Virgo. I just need a sip of water. So you definitely hear with the magician, you're having faith and hope and optimism that this will manifest, this connection will manifest. Definitely could be with the um, Gemini Virgo energy of the magician that this could definitely be a Virgo that you're uh, connecting with. And you definitely, you're, you're definitely having faith and hope that this connection will manifest and you're trying to manifest it also. So I think I'll shuffle one more for your person. Can we have, here we go. So we have the three of spirals. So this is the three of wands. So this is about, I do believe here that they really do want to, and this is earth. No, this is fire energy, sorry. So, I mean, if they're not a Virgo, they could be a fire sign. I mean, they could be anybody, but um, this is the energy of wanting to work together. I think they're really trying to work through their issues here, healing any, uh, either their parental father or if they are a father, healing a situation. If it doesn't involve you, if it was a previous relationship where they had children and they're healing from that, those issues, um, this is the three of spirals, so the three of one. So, you know, this is an uh, energy of waiting. Uh, they see what they want out in the distance, but they have to wait. There's a period of waiting. So I do feel like they see here, see, they see you, they know that they want to go to you. They want this with you also, but they have to wait right now. It's a period of waiting. So for now, you have to be in a friend zone as they heal and clear away their issues. Then this can manifest. Wow. So let's see what the actual situation is now for you, Taurus. So we have the king of stones and there's your energy that's both your energy the king of pentacles energy the five of scrolls and the two of spirals okay so we have you know the earth energy here 
we have air with the five of swords and we have the two of wands with the two of spirals so connecting to you this is definitely your energy both your energy but this is connected to you so i feel like you're a very strong stable grounded person um you're very dependable loyal you're a hard worker um you have growth and abundance and prosperity someone who's very stable here and you want to you know pentacles here are long term they build they grow they're stable they they come they don't leave so you you want this i feel long term with this person connected to them is the two of wands so they have the two and three of wands here so again three can indicate you know three third party maybe so again if they're clearing and healing away past issues that's why you're in the friend zone and that's why there's a three so they're waiting for the time where you can become two and make these uh, plans together make plans decisions talk about your connection where you want it to go how you want it to proceed um, what direction all that planning and decision making between the two of you just two not three so they go from three to two Wow fire energy is very passionate energy also but connecting the two of you is the five of swords so air energy here so I definitely feel like there has to be a lot of truth and honesty between the two of you, communication, clarity. Um, I feel like they definitely want to get out of this situation at all cost. They, they just want to leave it. They just want to heal it as best they can and heal it and move on and just get away from it with the Five of Swords energy. Um, and you want this connection no matter what, no matter <laughs> at what cost also for you. Um, whatever you have to cut away or whatever you have to do you don't really care you just want to manifest this connection and they do too and they're willing to do whatever it takes here to cut away all this crap that they don't need out of their life so that you can come together and go from three to two being very strong stable you know and prosper you know prospering on between the two of you wow so let's see what your advice is, Taurus, in this situation. So we have the Four of Stones and we have the Two of Stones. Wow, so this is all pentacle energy. Here's the Earth energy again. So the Four of Stones here is, you know, holding on to your stability, you know, holding on to the connection, not letting it go, also holding back. So you know your advice is now, you know they have to overcome, heal what they're going through. So right now this is telling you don't, disconnect from the connection still hold on to the connection but you need to hold back for now while they overcome and then they're ready to come forward after they clear all that away and then the two of stones here is the you know energy of you know you may be feeling uh imbalanced you may be feel like you're juggling around all those all these thoughts and securities uh, maybe not feeling so stable sometimes about the connection you're not sure where it's going to go you know you feel like you're gonna fall over you know but this is telling you here to hang on to your stability you know this is a connection here not to let it go but you need to hold back for now and to overcome this um, this insecure unstable feeling of um, feeling wobbly and you know off balance that this is a secure stable connection and not to worry about it here the two of pentacles energy so that is your advice so let's see what the outcome may be so we have the tower so okay so this is aries energy so this is like a big shake up so i don't know uh it can be good or bad it can be a surprise it can be something unexpected it also can be a breakdown of something um here so maybe you know you're waiting for this person you're you're having the faith and optimism that this will happen but you're just friends right now and you're not sure what's going to happen and all of a sudden once they clear away and heal their situation and they detach from that and all of a sudden boom they come forward to you you may be like wow like totally surprised they may surprise you in some way that you're not expecting um and that may really shock you 
So, I mean, it can be a good thing, bad thing. I don't see it as a bad thing. Um, this also could be energy of people around the two of you, uh, maybe a surprise to people around the two of you that there was this connection nobody knew about, and all of a sudden everybody's like, what? You know, and it's like a big shock to everybody and surprise to everybody. All right, so let's get more clarity here. So we have the Nine of Scrolls. So again, air energy. So again, being in that energy of being, you know, scared and nervous and anxious and upset and having fear, you know, being up at night and just being, you know, totally stressed out. Could be the two of you separately, um, you know, what they're going through, how you're viewing the connection, not knowing what's going on maybe, and having all that fear and anxiety over the connection. The Queen of Spirals. So now we have the Queen of Wands. So um, again, this I had said uh, three people here. So we have the King of Stones, Earth, which is both your energy there. And now we have the King, uh, Queen of Wands. So they could be involved with a fire sign here that they're leaving, healing from, coming energy they're coming out of. This is also a very passionate energy, uh, very courageous, strong, and brave. So it could be... Just the energy, either you or them, of being strong, courageous, and brave and being determined to go after what they want. Or they could be involved with a fire sign here, and that's why you're stressing over this. But there's a passionate brand new beginning, so this is new. This is passion. This is exciting, adventurous, uh, very passion, passionate, exciting, adventurous new beginning here. So there is a new beginning there. It's fire energy. So now we have the page of scrolls. So this is the this is the um, page of swords. So here's communication. Here's uh, they could be keeping tabs on one another online. The two of you, you know, checking on each other's social media. What are they doing? What are they up to? Uh, also, this is a journey. You know, going off in a new direction here you know, cutting off things no longer serving you, standing up in truth and clarity, clear communication. So it could be clear, you know, here's the new beginning and here's going in the new direction on this new like pilgrimage, the two of you having truth and clarity and uh, standing up for each other, for the connection, cutting away the bullshit no longer serving either one of you especially them, I feel. Or, I mean, if you are going through this and they're waiting on you, but I feel like, you know, since this is your energy, but you can flip the sides if you feel like this is you, that's them. Definitely, definitely do that here. Let's see, what else do we have? So here's judgment. So this is, you know, forgiving and healing from things of the past here, making a, fi uh, you know, a final judgment call, decision, uh, resurrection of a connection with Scorpio energy there and you see the water there so I mean definitely here you know them okay making their final judgment call making their final decision forgiving healing things of the past and making new decisions in their life and moving forward so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the King of Spirals, so the King of Wands. So now we have the King and Queen of Wands. So, and I know you guys are Earth signs, so, um, but that's okay, it's just energy. So now we have a matching couple. So I definitely feel like this person here could be your soulmate. Both fiery, passionate, even though you're Earth signs, you're stable, secure, and grounded. You're also very fiery and passionate and exciting and adventurous. And now we have the seven of mirrors, water energy. So yeah, the confusion now, not knowing where this is going in the future, just a lot of um, looking at maybe at a time at other options, um, making decisions, being confused. Strength. So now we have Leo energy. So yeah, I feel like this is a very strong connection between the two of you. And this is, you know, having that inner strength and courage and willpower determination, endurance to go the distance. Two of scrolls, so yeah, that's an energy, so yeah, nine of pentacles energy here, nine of stones, so two of scrolls, so making decisions here, 
to become single. Nine of Stones is a very independent, stable um, energy. You know, you're leaving behind what's no longer serving you. you. You've regained your stability. You've laid your foundation. And now you don't have to worry. You can go on and move on and do other things now. Going a whole new direction and making that final decision to do so. So we have air and um, earth energy. So here's the Page of Stones. So here is making decision here, needing to make a decision, being on my own, being stable, secure, and grounded. And now I can go off in a new direction. And what do I do here with the Page of Stones? I'm ready to move forward and offer a stable, st sturdy, grounded um, offer to somebody here with the Page of Stones. Yep, Emperor here taking control, Aries, taking control of their life being in power, going in the direction they want to go in and giving the offer to who they truly want to give it to and making that decision and taking total control of their life here. Yep. So, yep, I feel, this over here, I feel like your person is overcoming obstacles, they're healing, they know right now, just has to be friends and if you don't know how they feel, what's going on here I definitely feel like not a lot of cups here but I do feel like there's a very passionate deep soulmate connection um, did we have any cups here hmm well the seven of mirrors here but that's confusion so there are emotions involved because we do have some cups here so I feel like it's a very stable sturdy grounded passionate open honest truthful connection soulmate connection that you just need time and patience as they clear and heal um, the things they need to walk away from until they're ready to, to move forward in this new journey with truth and clarity and make plans and decisions with this connection moving forward all right so let's get some extra guidance advice for you Taurus second half of August love connection for Taurus, what do we have for Taurus? Any other messages for Taurus? We got two. Well, we got three. All right, what do we have here? So we have, wow. Look for a sign. So if um, this is you and you're wondering about this connection, um, you may be seeing signs that you're not aware of, or you know you need to ask for to uh, ask spirit for a sign to show you a sign. About this connection moving forward um, if you know how to do that to look for signs and I do believe they're letting go because they know where their abundance is and I do believe that is with you so energy here of letting go and abundance nice all right let's see what's on the bottom so yeah look listen to your intuition and look for a sign so you need to pay attention and listen listen to your gut your how you're knowing your intuition you know ask spirit show me a sign ask for something specific about this connection and then when you let it go and forget about it and then you see it it'll go bam and then you'll see it and remember oh yeah I asked spirit to show me and here it is so really you know listen and pay attention ask let it go forget about it and spirit will show you when the time is right. And yes, okay. <laughs> yes, this is your soulmate. Exactly. And I had felt that. The answer is yes. If you are wondering about this person, exactly. Abundance here in the future. Lots of abundance. Okay, Taurus, uh, that was your second half of August love connection reading. Um, if it did resonate for you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. Please do not miss out on that. And I'm sending you um, much luck here in your connection, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.